To build better ASP.NET Core Web APIs, testing is really important. A web API can either be unit tested by writing code, or you can just test the functionality using tools like Postman and Swagger. Swagger is already configured in our app because we kept the Enable Open API support checked. Now, let us go to Visual Studio and test our app using Swagger and also install the Postman and test the Web API. In here, let us go to the Solution Explorer and inside here, if you go to the Dependencies and then Packages, you'll see that the swashbuckle.aspnet core has already been installed. Now, this package was installed when we enabled the API support. Then in here, go to the startup.cs file. If you scroll down in here, inside the configure services method, you'll see that we have the add swagger gen method. And then inside the configure method, you have the use swagger and the use swagger UI. By using the add swagger gen, the use swagger and use swagger UI, this way the .NET Core Web API has configured for us the swagger UI. Now, if I run the application, I will also be redirected to the Swagger, so don't ask again, and then yes, then yes again. Once the app is started, it will be redirected to the Swagger page, and in here you can see the definition for the My Books version 1. Then in here you have My Books, you have the version 1, and also a reference to the swagger.json file. The swagger.json file is the file that is used to generate the Swagger UI. Then down here you can see the weather forecast controller. So whatever you see in here is the controller. And this controller has a single API endpoint, which is of type get, and the name will be weather forecast. Then I need to click the try it out option and then the execute button. So this way I sent an HTTP request to the API endpoint, which is localhost weather forecast, and I got a response body with all the data. Now, if you scroll to the bottom of this page, you will have the schemas, and inside the schema section, you'll see all the C-sharp classes, which can be models or view models that have been used in the API endpoints. So in this case, we have used the weather forecast to return a list of weather forecasts. Now, let us go to Visual Studio. I'll just stop the app. And then in here, I'll just change the version from version 1 to version 2. Also this one. I'll change the title in here. My books underscore updated title. And I'll change the Swagger UI to my books UI underscore updated. And also change the Swagger endpoint to be V2. Because I've set the Swagger doc to be the V2. Let us save the changes and run the app one more time. And once the app is started, you can see in here that now the title is updated title. It's a version 2. Also, the definition has been updated to UI updated, but we didn't change the text for V1. And the Swagger reference is now to Swagger slash V2 slash Swagger.json. Now, let us see how we can test an ASP.NET Core Web API using Postman. For that, we'll first need to download Postman. So, Postman download. Then postman.com. Then in here, download the app. Then to install the app, click in here. Run. Then in here, click the skip and go to the app. Now, let us go to the browser. Then here, click the weather forecast. Then get, try it out, click execute, then scroll down and copy this URL.
Let us go back to Postman. Close the overview. Then in here, click the plus button. Then make sure that you have get from the drop down. Paste the request in here and click the send button. We see that we couldn't get a response in here. So if you scroll down, we see that we get an SSL related error. So let us just disable the SSL verification. And you can see that we have a response. So inside the body, we have the response for the API endpoint.